Whoa, don't bite me. Hey everybody, this is Jessica from the blog Good Enough and Stuff. Today we'll be making a beauty berry jam. We had several gallon bags worth of beauty berries that we picked back in September, so today we're gonna make them in the jam. For this recipe, you'll need six cups of berries, fresh or frozen. Usually they're a lot brighter purple, but they've been in the freezer for so long that they're more brown now. A big pot to cook it all in. Three tablespoons of lemon juice. Four cups of granulated sugar. I know it sounds like a lot. And one package of low sugar pectin. If you're using fresh berries, go ahead and rinse the berries and then pick out any large stems and bugs because they're going to be in there. Okay, so I have a bunch of berries in here, about 24 cups, and the recipe calls for six cups per batch, so this is like a lot for this pot. But we'll just see <laughs> if we can hold that much. I'm not really into doing like simple math. I'm just gonna see if it works or not. <laughs> I know it, I could probably do it. Okay, so I'm gonna put the water in here and let it boil. And, um, and then once it's boiling for about 20 minutes, or it looks like the berries kind of like burst and like give up all their color and stuff pretty much, then mash it a whole bunch. And, um, and then we'll kind of go from there. If you're making a normal batch, you can add eight cups of water now, bring it up to a boil, and then let it boil for 20 minutes. You gonna help me? Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness, this is so much. <laughs> Well, it's boiling now, so I'm gonna set the timer for 20 minutes and just let it boil in. Hopefully it doesn't boil over. We'll just see. Oh my goodness. It looks horrible at this point, but it's gonna be so delicious. After you've boiled it for 20 minutes, mash the berries against the side of the pot with the back of a spoon. Here's Anna making sourdough pancakes. They were really good, but there were so many of them also. I guess today was the day to make big batches of stuff. You can see here how before the berries were sitting on top of the water and they were kind of floating everywhere and now they've been smushed and they're all kind of sitting underneath the water as it's boiling. I forgot to say before that you do need a sieve to strain the berries. <laughs> do you like this shot? Such a great angle. Golly, someday I will learn how to do this without doing one-handed weird stuff. Strain the berries with a sieve and make sure you really smush it with the back of a spoon to get all the juice out. Continue to boil the juice until you have four cups of liquid. Add three tablespoons of lemon juice. Mix one package of low sugar pectin into four cups of granulated sugar. Dump your sugar mixture into the pot and bring to a rolling boil, then boil hard for one minute. Oh my gosh, I walked away for just a minute and this is what happened. This pot was so full. And your jam is finished. All you need to do is figure out how you want to store it. I'm not real confident in my canning skills, so I just usually put it in freezer bags and that works just fine. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my website, goodenoughandstuff.com, for more recipes, crafts, and tips for a happy home. Come back for another video. I'll see you there.